Here we have the amazing Radeon RX 590. They make several cards. This is the Sapphire Nitro Plus. It's a special edition. 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. This is uh, a Mac mid-2012. Got a skateboard that I made for it underneath. And I'm just going to unlock it. And I'm going to pull up the aluminum cover. And inside, it has 5870 card in it. And it was built to Apple's OpenGL graphics spec. Uh, initially, Apple moved to OpenGL in the late 1990s after Steve Jobs announced plans to abandon his company's own Quick Draw 3D, which was an early project to build support for software graphics rendering into a Mac. At that time, moving to OpenGL allowed Apple to take advantage of existing work already done to build a software that enabled hardware acceleration on a variety of different graphics processing units, GPUs in other words. Now people tell you in order to install the new cards you have to take out uh, your four drives. You don't have to. You can still uh, do this. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have unplugged it. Reach around and take out the power cord and of course disconnect any other cables you have. Uh, that helps, helps a lot. And then you want to come over here with a screwdriver or do it with your fingers and just unscrew the spring-loaded screws that are here. They pop out and this card, this little metal bracket, slides back. It tucks in right under there. If you slide it forward, it tucks under that little clip right there slides forward pop this out bit of a trick but it comes now if you notice I also have a USB 3 card right here in the second slot and I'm gonna leave it in you could take it out it's loose it'll pop out but this uh, this old trusted card right here, 5870, has a little clip on the top and you just push it down and out pops this pin. It also has another six pin connector, which if you look at it, there's one six pin connector out and the other six pin connector has a little button kind of clamp clip right there. A lot of times these are easier to take out um, when the unit itself is unleashed. There's a button right here on the fan bed. It slides back and unlocks this stainless steel pin. So you slide it over and then your Radeon card should slide out. There's a slot right here that it has to be in. You can see these different slots for each card, but this one has to be in there. And then this just pops out. Hopefully, just pops out. There we go. That's an amazing card all by itself. So there you have it. Two six pin connectors that we're going to take advantage of in a minute. Again, the great card made by ATI. The issue is that these cards, while they worked on previous operating systems, they won't work anymore. Since Apple's introduced a new operating system, Mojave, Mojave uses a new system of um, graphic architecture called Metal. And the performance gains that come from Metal are largely from the optimizations that reduce the CPU load, enabling the software to much more efficiently make use of the power of the GPU. Metal, Apple's new system, 
achieves this by using explicit synchronization and shared memory space between the GPU and the CPU. So therefore you have lower drive overhead, pre-computated shaders, and upfront state validation, efficient multi-threading, where every CPU thread can send commands to the GPU, the graphic processing unit. So metal is why we need a new graphics card. This one only has one gig of RAM. The Sapphire Nitro has eight. And you can see it's a, it's a, it's a pretty card if you like blue. And it has um, dust resistant fan blades which are easy to pop off and change if you ever need to. It runs fairly silently. I have already um, changed the switch which is right around here. Right there there's a switch. Probably the light's not great to see it. But you can turn it down and take advantage of... Uh, how fast you want to run it. I'm not going to overclock this. I'm going to use it more of a graphics machine. So there's your switch. You can uh, change it if you want. I've got it turned down. So Apple's uh, Mojave needs metal. Uh, a metal compatible card. On their website they list several models. They don't list this 590. It's a new card. But Metal gets its name from a low level of hardware optimization as it runs in a sense on the bare metal rather than hovering over a large hardware abstraction layer in the model of cross-platform cross graphics frameworks like the former OpenGL which were designed to support a wide range of processors. So this is much more specific therefore you need a new graphics card. And uh, the previous 580 has been pretty popular with owners of uh, Mac Legacy uh, Mac Pros but um, I thought I'd experiment and see if this 590 would work and uh, so we're going to give it a try so we'll put our nitro to one side we'll take the old one away might keep it just to hang on to it in case I need it so we're going to move these cables out of the way they're still connected to the logic board down there. And you can see them. They're still plugged in right there. And uh, we're just going to move them back. So the Mac Pro, many other computers use um, one of these batteries, which I'm going to change at the same time, seeing as it's underneath the card. It's called the CR2032. I use these in my all my Mac Pros. So you can go down there and uh, pop up that clip and just ease the battery forward and make sure you put in a corresponding CR2032 lithium battery. They usually last five years so um, you can check it and test it if you uh, are uh, thinking that it might be fairly new. But I'm just going to replace mine just as good practice. And slide it forward. And it should pop in there. There we go. Look at this heat cooling here. That's pretty fantastic. Now the problem that we have sometimes with these cards is if you look here, the screw holes don't line up. So you want to make sure you slide this thing forward. from Pushing it not on the plastic body but on the aluminum heat dissipating panel at the back and just push it forward and then you can put the uh, screws back in and you can slide your uh, fan unit forward and that pin back there, the aluminum, will, will the uh, stainless steel pin will slide underneath the card and lock it into place. So it's all pretty good. Now you'll notice here we have these two cables. We're going to take advantage of that. This is a special cable that I have in my hand right here. It takes um, and the 8-pin connector at the front, there's, a, there's an 8-pin connector built into the card and a 6-pin connector. We're going to hook into the 8-pin connector uh, with this end. And it's got a splitter and it comes down and splits to two 6-pins. You can find these on the internet. Some of them come from China and take about a month and a half. And others you can get within a day and a half. I'll make a recommendation in a minute. 
like I said, sometimes this is easier to do when it's still connected. So just give me a second, I'm going to pick this up. So now I've got my two six pin connectors coming out and they're going to plug in to these two ends. And to do that, I have to turn off my camera and use both hands. So there you have it. And the near, uh, the nearest one is connected to the nearest one on the card, and the farthest one is connected to the farthest one. They can only go in one way. You just slide them together, and you'll see the little clip where they clip in. And then you're ready to put the um, the Radeon card into the machine. Now you want to make sure that you don't buy a six pin to eight pin cable. You want to buy a dual six pin female to eight pin male cable. Okay, so we've slid the um, sapphire card into its uh, slot, PCI slot down in the bottom, or we're going to slide this fan unit back and it slides in there and so this cable can be tucked out of the way. And this steel pin is now back. It's it's on a it's on a connector that slides in there and locks this this card in place. And then we're going to put our um, our our little uh, panel secure secure on top here, and it's going to slide forward in there. Now, believe it or not, over the years I've seen people put these cards in crooked so that you don't have the ports centered on either the USB card or the Radeon card. So look in the back first and make sure that everything's lined up and that all your ports to afterward when you power it up are going to be accessible. Now there's a bit of a trick to tightening these two screws up. This one you can do by hand first, get it started, and then tighten it up. This one, you might have to put some pressure with one hand back here on the card in order to push it in a bit to get this screw free to go in the hole. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut my camera down, push the, the Radeon card forward, and then tighten this up with the screwdriver. Okay, so just double check. Make sure that everything's in there firmly and make sure you've tucked these cables back uh, out of the way. Make sure you've slid this fan compartment forward so that that stainless steel bar locks back into this card. And then you can close it back up. And oh, by the way, if you wanted, you could vacuum it all out. Um, just clean it out. You can pull this tray out with your uh, ram on it um, and um, vacuum both sides of it. And uh, it's good to do several things at the same time, uh, if you want. But there's your Radeon card, installed. Now, let's see if it boots up the first time. Again, you're not going to get a boot screen because it's not an Apple Radeon card. It's just a standard out-of-the-box PC uh, Sapphire Nitro card. Uh, but it, uh, from all reports, should start up. Let's check it out. So we have the um, DVI cable hooked up and uh, an HDMI cable to two of my monitors. One is a new ViewSonic, the other one's an older DVI ViewSonic that can be pivoted to show the whole length of a page. So I keep that one. Um, and we should be ready to go. So we've waited a few minutes and up comes Mojave screen. And of course it's dark because it's dark outside where I am. But if not, you'd have a lovely sandy dune in bright sunshine. We'll log in to about this Mac. And one issue that we see right away, there's my Mac Pro mid-2012. It's got Mojave, the latest operating system on that I put on it yesterday from uh, version 10.13.6, which is what you have to have before you put your Radeon card in. Now you'll see down here, it doesn't say Radeon Sapphire Nitro RX 590, which would be cool, but it is from the same Polaris family and it shows that it's got 8192 uh, megs of RAM. So there you have it, it's working fine.